What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves a good one. We're rocking out with a Trick Room Ice Rider Catherick team that also features Drizzle Kyogre alongside with Assault Best Tapu Koko. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, yo, get on top of that. Click that big red subscribe button and join the community. We got tons of Pokemon content coming on the way alongside with new Mario Kart content that I'm going to be bringing you guys. So hopefully you guys are excited for that. Hopefully you guys are excited for new Mario Kart content because I absolutely love that game. I feel like it's a chill game and everybody just, just loves Mario Kart. You know, you can't go wrong with that game. You really cannot go wrong with that game. But we're using that Ice Rider Calyrex team today. And Ice Rider Calyrex is really, really good. Probably one of the best Trick Room uh, Pokemon in the game as of right now. And I haven't really used them too much in Series 12. So I was just like, yeah, let me bring you guys a nice little Ice Rider Calyrex team. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only horse. Ice Rider Calyrex with the as one ability. Weakness policy as item. You guys know that is probably the best item for this thing. Once I think it's proccing, it's pretty much GG's. We got Glacial Lance, high horsepower, seed bomb for coverage, and then protect for our fourth and final move. Right next to him is going to be Mimikyu over here. Mimikyu is just perfect for setting up Trick Room. It has the disguise as its ability, so it always takes at least two hits to take out. Unless you know they're rocking a Pokemon such as like Duraludon or a Pokemon that can hit through abilities. But most of the time, they're not. We also have the safety goggles as an item, and then we're rocking Shadow Steak for stab and first turn priority. Will the Wisp for burns on physical attackers, taunt to taunt opposing support mods, and last but not least, we got Trick on this Pokemon. One thing that I would change on the Mimikyu would be its item. I would rather have it have Mental Herb because, you know, Mental Herb allows him not to be taunted, but I feel like everybody always uses Mimikyu with Mental Herb, so it's so predictable that people won't even go into taunt and waste a turn with that. So. I think that, that's why the team creator actually was just like, yo, let's not give it the uh, mental herb. We're just going to act like it has the mental herb, but give it the safety goggles instead. So we'll see how that one works out. Middle left is going to be Incineroar. I'm not even going to talk about it. Actually, I am going to be a, a little bit because it has the eject button. Most Incineroars never rock a eject button. They're usually rocking like a figgy berry or like a citrus berry or some sort of berry to give it more HP. But this one's normal move set, normal ability with the Intimidate. But this time, item's going to be eject berry. Or well, not eject berry, eject button. <laughs> Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Kyogre, and Kyogre is phenomenal. Still super, super broken in this series, in my opinion. With Origin Pulse, Ice Boom, Calm Mind, and Protect, this is a little bit of a different build for Kyogre, which I really, really like. We also got the Drizzle ability, obviously, to set the rain and have weather control. And last but not least, we're rocking leftovers on this Pokemon. So this, uh, this Kyogre right here is not the normal, like, you know, outspeed everybody, go in the water spouts. This one's more like Dynamax, set up, and get rolling from there. So hopefully we get to show off this Kyogre and use it to its fullest potential. Bottom left hand corner is one of the best back end Pokemon in any single Pokemon team. We got Fighting and Dark Urshfu over here with the Unseen Fist so we can hit through Protects. Focus Sash, obviously, because that's like its best item ever. Then we got Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Sucker Punch for first turn priority, and Stab at the same time. And then we got Detect, which works like a Protect for him. So, really nice. Top of Coco is going to be our final Pokemon with Electric Surge so we can get Surge Control. We also have the Assault Vest as our item so, you know, we can soak up some special attacking shots. Then, last but not least, we got Thunderbolt. For stab, bolt switch for stab, and pivoting out, dazzling gleam for stab, and nature's madness. You know, work with those terrains. Guys, you want to use this team for yourself? I don't even have to say it. The rental code is chilling right at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Ice Rider Calyrex Trick Room team. Let's get rolling here, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into our first battle for today's video, and we're going up against a pretty similar team. We're both rocking Ice Rider Calyrex, and we're both rocking Incineroar and Kyogre. We both have the same restricted mods and same kind of premise with the team. He also has the Moongus, he has the Rangaroo for Trick Room and Obstruct, and then he has the Whimscott for Speed Control alongside with that, uh, did I say Amoongus already? I think I already did. I think I already did. But, uh, how should we go into this one? How should we play it? Uh, Mimikyu could definitely be a solid lead. Same thing with Incineroar in case he wants to go on the Whimscott and kind of like taunt me and go from there. But, uh, how do I want to do this? Does Jeans want to do this? We could go Incineroar Kyogre. And then maybe just bring Mimikyu Calyrex in the back. Because if he sets Trick Room, he sets Trick Room. That's just, that's just dandy for us. I really, I really would like that. But I feel like going into Incineroar and Kyogre could do us really good. And then bring Calyrex in the back end. And then alongside with, uh, we could go Coco. I mean, Coco isn't too shabby, but I think I'd rather have Urshfu. I think I'd just rather have Urshfu, but we're not even going to bring our Mimikyu. We're going to say he's going to set Trick Room. If he doesn't do it, then that's fine by me. That's fine by me. But he, he has to bring a Trick Room out. Hopefully, he's not thinking the same premise as me. It's just like, okay, he's going to set the Trick Room. Because <laughs> then we'll have nobody set the Trick Room. We'll just kind of just be rolling out here. But we'll see. We'll definitely see. But guys, before we even start the first battle, let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day, what restricted Pokemon is your favorite to use in Series 12? For me, I've been loving Yvelta. I absolutely love using Yvelta. I think it's a very cool mod. Awesome all around. And it's very good with its moveset. So let me know your guys' answers in the comments down below. But he's going to go in with Whimsicott alongside with... Uh, 
alongside with Calyrex. And do we think Calyrex Dynamaxes? I can definitely see maybe a Protect coming out from Calyrex. Uh, so I could Calm Mind set up if I really want to, but I just think like an Origin Pulse might have to be your player. What do I want to do? What does Sheens want to do here? I could Parting Shot. I could dip out. Throw Chop could come out and come in hot. But I do think maybe Calyrex just protects you, right? I think I'm going to Calm Mind. I think I am going to Calm Mind and set up. I think it's just my play. And if I get this Calm Mind off, I can definitely just go into Dynamax next turn. Well, it really depends what he's going to go into. But it seems like yeah, he's going to Dynamax. I really do think Calyrex might Dynamax, but it is minus one, which is really, really good for us. Or he could swap. He could definitely swap. Let's see what he does. He's going to swap. He's going to swap you. Okay, I'm cool with that all day. The swap comes out from him, and he's going to go into his Amoongus. So Amoongus is going to fly through here, and what's he doing with Calyrex? He is going to end up Dynamax to Calyrex. Cali Cali is going to get Dynamax. So I could Parting Shot next turn if I want to. But he's probably just going to Rage Powder, right? Yeah. Rage Powder might come through here. I might have to Dynamax. Really depends what he goes into. It really depends what he goes into. Was I going to waste out Dynamax turns? I'm kind of hoping he hits onto my Incineroar and we eat it up because the Jackpot will poke and then I can just hard swap back into it. So Fake Out's coming in hot. Boom. Doing some nice damage. And we're going to set up this lovely combo. So if he doesn't touch Kyogre, I'm really tempted to just Dynamax this Pokemon and get rolling. I really am. I really am. Let's see what he rocks into. He's going to rock into a Hailstorm. That's going to go into Incineroar, right? I'll take that all day. So he changes up weather. I'm cool with that. I think I might just hard swap back into Incineroar here. He changes weather. I could drop a big old Ice Beam. Or I could drop my own Hailstorm into a Moogus. Predicting to follow me, obviously. Or the Rage Powder. Whatever you want to call it. So Jack Button's going to poke. I think I might just hard swap back out in uh, Dynamax from here. Might have to be my play. Might have to be my play. We could go to go into Calyrex of our own. But Urshifu? Ur Urshifu could come in hot. Urshifu could definitely come in hot. I'm just going to pose a threat with Urshifu. I really am. I'm just going to swap back into Incineroar. I really don't want Urshifu out there while the Hail's chilling there. Because then Buffets will take off his Focus Ash. So, I'm just going to hard swap right into him. Oh, he gets buffeted off the Jack mm -mm. I hate this game. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much. But, yeah. We got a Dynamax or a Kai over here. Probably our best play. We're plus one. We have our leftovers rocking. I do dig it. I do dig it. Yeah, let's Dynamax this boy. He'll go up to 414 HP. This boy is ready to rock. He is ready to rock. But yeah, hard swap coming in hot. We'll hard swap in Incineroar, get that minus one onto the Calyrex, or minus two at this point. And we're just going to Dynamax and drop a Hailstorm over on the side. Let's do it. Let's get rolling here. Kyogre with the Dynamax in battle number one. Like I said, yo, his moveset's a little different from normal. And once we get set up, we're going to Dynamax with him. And that's exactly what we're doing in battle number one. But we're going to withdraw this boy. We're going to get back out the oh-so-op Incineroar. The Tiger. Tony the Tiger. Frosted Flakes guy right here. Man, I can't believe nobody's been naming this dude Tony. So people got to be naming this thing Tony the Tiger. But there it is. Dynamax comes out. Let's roll. Let's get it popping. Good thing he Dynamax Calyx right off the rip. As he was minus one. I love it. I love it. But I wonder what he's going to go to from here. Probably another Hailstorm. I do think he's going into another Hailstorm into the Urshifu song. I do definitely see that coming out here. But here we go. 414 HP. That is gorgeous. We'd love to see it. Big old buff on the HP. And is this thing Rage Powdering? He is. We kind of predicted that all along. We were going for it anyway. That's fine. That's fine. We're wasting out his Dynamax turns. Here goes our big old Max Hailstorm. We're plus one. And this might KO. We're really hoping it does. Let's see. Get it, Kyogre. Get it after, dude. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Run it up. Oh, we get a crit. Oh, yes, sir. We love we love critical hits. We take those all day. Big old crit takes out lovely little Pokeball Mushroom. And he goes for an over. Ooh. Ooh, that's a little scary. That's a little scary. How much damage are you really going to do? Shh. Nothing. Get out of my face, dude. I'm, I'm just going to I'm going to go for a party shot here. I'm definitely going for a parting shot. He sets that grass train. That could help us out. Not even going to lie. It's going to give us some HP. <laughs> it's going to give my boy some HP. It's going to give my boy some HP. We'll take the buffets all day. That's fine. I think I'm going to go for the parting shot. Or I could fake out. I could definitely fake out here. I could definitely fake out. I'm trying to think of what I should do here. It really depends who he goes into. I could drop a beautiful little fake out here. But I'm thinking he might protect his next Pokemon because it's kind of obvious that I can just go into the fake out uh, slot here. And I could just go into a parting shot on the Kyler and kind of just play it slow. He's going to go into Wimscott. And Wimscott, yeah, we're going we're gonna to fake out Wimscott. We are 100% going to fake out Wimscott. I think we just take it out, right? We have to double down into that. We could change weather back. Did we change weather back? I could guard. Nah, we're going to take it out. 
We can't we can't allow a thing to go for a tailwind and just take speed control. He's not gonna kill us with anything else. So oh he protects. Great call by him. He does end up protecting. That's a, a smart little call by him. Smart little call by him. Dang, dude. That really changes the tide. This is a solid battle. This is a great battle here. We still have our we still have our Urshfu in the back, which is wonderful. Which is just dandy. And alongside with uh who else do we have? We have our Calyrex still, which is great. I think he's gonna take some damage, and I knew we should just went for part and shot. He goes for the max quake. And can we eat that? He's minus two. That is not stab. And we don't. We do not eat that. Ooh, that's a little rough. That's a little rough. Okay, so from here, I could go into uh Urshfu might have to be our player. Before he tailwinds, and we could just drop a sucker punch. Because sucker punch could just take out that Calyrex, no problem. So I think I'm just gonna rock into that, even if he does tailwind. We can kinda uh pretty much finish up this battle. I'm liking that. I'm liking it. Actually, what do we do here? What do we do? What is the play here? What is the play? Do we double down? I, we might have to double down in the Calyrex here. We might have to double down in the Calyrex. I'm trying to think. We could bring a Calyrex of our own out here. And just... Oh, I, I kind of like that a little bit better than having that Urshifu come out here. Bring out Calyrex of our own. Just for the sheer fact is we could drop a Glacial Lance. And we could take out Wimscott and get off a little bit of damage onto that Calyrex. And then double down into him with a uh, with a Max Geyser. Just to change up weather. And bring it back into Kyogre's favor. I'm with it. I'm liking that. I'm, I'm really digging that. I don't know why, but I'm really digging it. I'm really digging that play. Let's do it. Lock it in, lock it down. If he wants to go for a Tailwind, he can go for a Tailwind. That's fine. Glacial Lance can poke, and we'll switch over to the Geyser. Send it over onto the Calyrex slot. If he protects, he protects. That's fine. We're still going to get off this, uh, this what's called, this Glacial Lance, which could be good. But that could be tough. If he actually protects, that could, that could do us dirty a little bit. Because it takes out Wimscott, or Wimscott could set up a Tailwind and allows the next Pokemon to come in here. Let's see. Let's see what this dude's going to do. Let's see what my boy's going to do. But we have him in a great situation here. We're playing really good in battle number one. Really, really good. I just want to get this win, yo. Kyogre was a perfect Dynamax Pokemon. It was money on the Dynamax. Absolute money. Absolute money. Let's see what he does. He goes for Tailwind. No Protect comes out here. So we saw the Tailwind coming all day. That's totally fine. If he gets off of Glacial Lance, that's fine. He's just going to go for Sea Bomb, which we'll be able to eat up. Beautiful. Soaking that up all day. The minus two on him from that incident where it really came up clutch. Here goes a nice little geyser. Geyser should do, I think, enough damage to take him out. If not, Glacial Land should be able to chip up the rest. Ooh, that didn't do as much as I thought it would. That did not do as much as I thought it would. But I still think we're sitting pretty solid here. Let's see. Glacial Land's coming out here. That definitely takes out Wimscott. Can we get rid of that Calyrex? Get rid of that Calyrex for me. Say, hey, yo, Calyrex, get out of my face. Do it for him. Show him who's a better Calyrex. It's rough. It's rough. That's real rough. What are we going to do? Um, We have Urshfu in the back end. I think we just have to rip up onto his other Pokemon. We do have Chilling Day. I think we don't really worry about that Calyrex for right now. It's only... It's minus one. It's probably going to take out my Kyogre with a C-Bomb. So I could protect this turn. But I might just double down into whatever Pokemon he throws out here. Let's see who he's rocking with. He's going to send out Kyogre. We do have C-Bomb of our own. We do indeed have Seed Bomb of our own. Well, this one's going to be close. This one's definitely going to be close. We're going to Seed Bomb here. Seed Bomb. Do we Origin Pulse or do we Protect? How many turns left in Tailwind? Three. Okay, never mind. Protect really wouldn't do anything. I said we just double down. I said we get after this. We're going to have to. Water Spout comes out here. Kyogre, you should be able to eat that up. Kyogre, you too. Love you guys. As long as he's not going for Glacial Lance, we should be thriving here. Seed Bomb comes out. Okay, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Seed Bomb comes out here. That's going to take me out. How much damage are we really going to do to this uh, Kyogre here? That's fine. That's fine. Chilling Nate's going to get boosted. We have our Urshfu with Sucker Punch. Chilling. We have him chilling. And Life Orb just takes him out. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. We love to see that. We love to see that. Seed Bomb's going to fly here. Yeah, yo, yo, send it over there. We are plus one, which is gorgeous. This is my KO. Let's go, Calyrex. Let's go. We have the Urshfu in the back end just in case we need to suck a punch. But there it is, yo. What a first battle. Long and drawn out, and your boy ended up picking up that victory. I'm ready. I am ready for battle number two. Let's hop into it. Let's get rolling here. Looking to go back to back. Going up against the Dialga and Kyogre team. Alongside with Incineroar and Didi, Amoongus, and Porygon 2. So kind of a similar team to the last team that we versed. It's kind of like Trick Roomish with the Incineroar and Kyogre. But 
instead of Calyrex, he has Dialga. So very, very similar. Very similar. I'm going to say he's going to set Trigger. If he doesn't, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. I'm going to lead. Uh, do I lead Incineroar again? Hmm. Do I lead Incineroar again? I could lead Incineroar alongside with Coco. Coco ain't too bad. I kind of want to bring Coco in this battle. You know, we're not even going to bring Incineroar. We're going to go Coco alongside with... Hmm. Who do I want to lead here? Who do I want to lead here? I could lead the Kyogre. Kyogre's really not bad here. I really do like Kyogre as lead. We're going to bring Calyrex and then last but not least, we got to we gotta bring Urshfu. We got to bring Urshfu, right? I'm digging it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But yeah, well, he has a very similar team to the last one. I kind of want him to set the Trick Room. If he doesn't, I think we're still thriving. Just like last battle, we didn't really need Trick Room in that case because he had a rather slower team. Same premise goes here. Same premise goes here. He only has a, his only fast Pokemon really is going to be that Kyogre. And we have the Tapu Koko to kind of chill here and uh, cover that. So I'm looking for a win here. I'm looking for a big win here. Your boy's been, been doing good. I've been doing good on uh, Series 12. I'm top, uh, what am I right now? Top 3,000. I think I'm close to, uh, into the 2000s. I think I'm really close to it. I forget what my rank just said. But he's going to go Amoongus into, uh, into his boy right here, Dialga. Which is totally fine. We're going to go Coco alongside Kyogre. And I can just, uh, get after this, right? I, I think I'm going to Volt Switch out. I think Volt Switch out is going to be the play. Let him set the Trick Room, because I can Volt Switch into, uh, Calyrex. Which is lovely. Oh, I could Calm Mind set up here as well. Yeah, that might be my play. Calm Mind set up into Calyrex Volt Switch? Because if I had to guess, he's probably going for like a Rage Powder or a Spore. Right? Hmm. We could go for Nature's Madness. But no, nah, I'd, I'd rather switch. I would definitely rather switch. And we're hoping he's going for a Rage Powder. Because Spore could kind of mess up what I'm trying to do. Let's see. We withdraw. Oh, he withdraws. Ooh. Okay. Who's he going to send out? Indeedy. Indeedy comes out here. Okay. Indeed, he comes out here. We're calm mind setting up. What is... Amuga's got to be going for the Spore, right? He's got to be going for the Spore. And that's a weird swap out. That is definitely a weird swap out. kind of curious about that. He's got to be going for the Spore. Volt Switch going to poke it out here. Yeah, send it. And from here, I might just bring out Urshfu, not even Calyrex. I think I just bring out my boy right here. Yeah, I got to bring out Urshfu. He gives me no reason not to bring out Urshfu at this point. I'm going to bring out Urshfu. Combine's going to set up for my Kyogre. And I might Dynamax Kyogre. I'm thinking about it. I'm definitely thinking about it. But I think Spore, yeah. Spore comes out here and it goes into my Kyogre. Okay. That's fine. He doesn't really have any Pokemon that really does a lot of damage. Besides maybe that NDD. But in this case, we can just hit it with a Wicked Blow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to Wicked Blow that thing. Uh... We have Combine set up against two special attackers, so we're just going to drop an Ice Beam and just try to waste out our sleep turns. That's fine with me. Here comes a Withdrawal over from the Indeedee, and he's going to go into Dialga again, maybe? Let's see. Yeah, back into the Dialga. We do have Close Combat ready to rock, and then I think next turn he goes into... I mean, this turn he's probably going for a... Oh, he goes for Rage Powder. I'm fine with that. I think ne next turn he's going to go into Rage Powder into Trick Room. Again, I'm cool with that. We have our Kyogre chilling here. We still have our Cal Calyrex in the back end. I'm fine with that all day. That's a, that's a big old damage. That is some big old damage. We love to see it. We love to see it. I really don't want to drop a close combat. Because again, I think that the what's called is coming in hot. The Rage Powder again. So we're just going to do that. We're just going to do that. And I'd rather not drop my defense. Just because of this. Uh, just because of this what's called. This Rage Powder. Or just, just by going for close combat. When I know he's going for a Rage Powder. Yep, there's Rage Powder. And he's going for a Trick Room. So Trick Room's totally fine. We have Focus Ash. We have a Kyogre plus uh, plus one on special defense. That's looking lovely. So, Wicked Blow is going to come out here. We're hoping we're waking up and having some quick naps here. Because this could be a nice little quick nap. We get off some chip damage with this Ice Beam as we're plus one on special attack. So, come on, Kyogre. Wake up, buddy. You stink, dude. You stink. Trick Room's obviously popping. Yep, there it is. Yo, look at this. We're reading this dude like a book right now. But we don't mind the Trick Room. We do not mind it. We do not mind it. I could definitely see him going back into Indeedee. I think he has Indeedee and Kyogre, if I had to guess. So if we can save our Coco and Calyrex for the back, I'm with it. Yep. Out comes Kyogre. Kyogre comes out here. Um, I'm really with the close combat here. Wow, we have Focus Dash. I'm really with the close combat. Did we drop it into Dialga? But I think Dialga could be weak in policy. I kind of don't really want to mess with it. What's up, player? Let's just go into an Origin Pulse. 
Let to keep Kyogre on the field. Two special attackers. She's going to Dynamax, right? Yep. Yep. The boy is Dynamax. And this one's going to be actually very, very close. It's going to be a very close battle. But I think the the uh, turns of this move is going to be Dialga, my Kyogre, hits Kyogre, my Urshino. So I think it's just going to stagger, go back and forth here. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping maybe, maybe this Kyogre should be Scarf, but I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Let's see what he goes into from here. His Kyogre actually goes first. So that's a slow Kyogre. That's a slow Kyogre. Urshifu pops its Sash, and I think he's going to double down into the Kyogre slot. Right, you got it. There's no way you're doubling down to Urshifu. There's no way you're doubling down to Urshifu. He goes for the Quake for the special defense boost. Smart play by him. And he does, yo. My boy doubles down. He doubles down. What a play. Great call by him. We're hoping we can wake up, but it's not going to do like any damage with the, with the origin pulls. It really isn't. As they're plus one on special defense, but we are, we are plus. It don't matter. We're asleep. Return sleep get out my face. Okay. Uh, Calyrex is an absolute must to bring out here. Calyrex is an absolute must to come, bring out here, Dynamax. And I think I'm just going to drop a nice little uh, max overgrowth. Get this terrain wall and have my Kyogre just get a constant stream of HP. I'm digging it a lot. I am digging it a lot. I could have brought out Coco, but people just got dumped on by Max Quake easily. So let's sign Max this boy. Let's go into the Overgrowth. Send it that way. And maybe go for a freeze? Yeah, we're going to go for a freeze here. We're looking for some freezes. Freeze could be lovely. He's going to... Oh, wow. Withdraw the Kyogre. Bring out the Ndidi. That's, that's fine because, you know, we get to change up terrain on that. But, again, he doesn't know that we're rocking. Actually, he does know we're rocking a Coco. We Volt Switch early on in the match. That's fine. So he knows yet we have the Coco, so I don't know why he would just bring that uh, Kyogre into the back end. Really throwing me off. It's really throwing me off. Let's see. Let's just see how this one plays. I'm hoping he's kind of like procking a weakness policy. That could be lovely. Kyogre's going to wake up here. We're going to get off on Overgrowth. And more importantly, like, even though this isn't going to do too much damage, we change the terrain and we allow our Kyogre to... Uh, Get two streams of HP from the terrain and now from the leftover. So that's going to be really good, especially now that he's bulked up a little bit on the uh, special defense board. Here goes a Wormwind. Oh, you son of a biscuit. He goes for the Wormwind into Kyogre. Kyogre should be able to eat that. Beautiful. And he's going to get that attack drop on my Calyx, which we do not like. We don't like that at all. We do not like that at all. Not one bit. Attack drops we do not like. Ice Beam's going to fly. Give me a freeze, yo. Put this thing in an Iceberg. Put him in an Iceberg. Do it. Do it to him. Rain stops. That's a little rough. Okay. Uh, follow me is probably going to trigger, right? I think I just go into a quake. Right? Just for a special defense boost would be a lot better for us. Yeah, I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Kyogre's getting some HP. We'd love to see it. Uh, we just go into another calm mine, or what do we do here? What's our play? Quake's definitely going to be our play. Let's quake that way. And do I just origin pulls? I am going to Origin Pulse, just in case uh, if he goes into the Follow Me and the Quake doesn't KO. Let's see. Let's see what this dude's doing. This is going to be good battle. This one's going to be really, really close. Really, really close. If we could just waste out these Trick Room turns, we can really be, can really be thriving here. Let's see what his play is. Protect comes out from you. That's perfect. That is perfect. That is perfect. That's totally fine. We're going to Quake over in Diago's slot. He might have policy and it might be proc in here. But we do get that special defense boost, which is wonderful. And we get off a decent amount of damage on a bulky Pokemon. Yo, what a set of battles so far. Really good battles going out for you guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. Hopefully this thing's not policy, though. Beautiful. Not policy. He's going to go for a Quake of his own. He's going to get that special defense boost. Um, is that going to Calyrex? Nope, going to Kyogre. Kyogre soaks, man. Kyogre soaks. And I was going to set up a Combine. That would have been a really good turn for a Combine setup. Would have been a great turn for a combine setup. A really, really solid turn. Origin Pulse is going to poke, protect, and protect comes out. Or uh, it lands on Dialga and doing pretty much nothing. It's not very effective. He's bulked up on special defense. Okay. Uh, what's my play here, though? I'm trying to think of my play. I have to check the uh, Trick Room turns. I do have to check the Trick Room turns. If we have two, I could do something else. But it kind of it kind of depends on the turns at this point. We'll see. So I would love to set up a combine, but if he doesn't have two turns left in trick room, I really don't want to. I'd, ra I'd rather just double down and get rid of these Pokemon. Let's see turns. One turn left in trick room. Okay, uh, follow me could come out here, or he could protect the Dialga. What do we think is happening? I think we have to get the special. I mean, I'm not too worried about the Dialga. I mean, I am a little bit. So, yeah, let's do that. And I'm just going to Origin Pulse across. This might have a, enough mustard in the tank to take out that NDD. 
follow me comes out anyway follow me comes out regardless that's totally fine that's fine that is totally fine next week flies out here and i think he swapped the kyra because it is choice it might be choice oh that doesn't even take out that's fine we're dropping origin that's exactly why we got that special defense boost which is going to work wonders and we still have a ton of hp left on our calyrex a ton of hp left earth power is going to fly we should be able to hook that up all day dude Kyogre is bulk he is bulk that's gg joe that is gg joe we are having some crazy good battles in the master tier now crazy good battles yo hopefully the third and final battle we pick up pick up a nice little winning record and roll from there but indeed he drops out i feel like me and our opponent are playing good with the with the uh with the uh, Dynamax turns, getting the stat boost from them and using them appropriately. But yeah, your boys get your boys get a lot better. I feel like I get better every single week. Every time I play Sword and Shield rank battles, I get better and better. I really do like that. So Trick Room's gone. That's fine. That's just dandy. Uh, he's gonna bring back out Kyogre, so Rain's gonna be a factor again. So my Origin Pulse can do a little bit more damage than it than it really was. But Kyogre's really just chilling here. He's kind of just chilling, just soaking up shots left and right. He's just soaking up shots. Okay. Uh, ch 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 what do I do here though? Gotta go into seed bomb, right? We gotta see if seed bomb can KO, and we're going to the origin pulse. Do we ice beam? I think we just ice beam. Ice beam will do more damage. Actually, will it? I don't know. Let's see what happens here. Ice beam flies through, and our yo, our character's faster. We love to see it. Ice beam's gonna do some damage. Give me a freeze. No freeze comes out here, and a steel beam's flying. That's taking out Calyx all day. Actually, maybe not. We're bulked. We are bulked. Tiger, please don't go for a water spout or anything. That thing goes down. Okay, cool. I, we're, we're thriving. We have our Coco in the back anyway, out speeds. That's fine. You, you, could, you could take out my Calyrex now. If not, you're dead. You make the turns. You make the calls, man. You make the calls. Thunder comes out here, and that's... He was predicting that to actually take out my uh, Calyrex, which it didn't, and that doesn't even take out my Calyrex. Yo, our special defense is through the roof right now. It is through the roof. We don't even need Top of Coco. C-Bomb's going to come out here after Policy Spock. We're going to be like, hey, yo, Calyrex, do me a favor. Get on out my face. Get on out my game. There it is, yo. 2-0. We grabbed ourselves a winning record. Now it's time for that perfect record. We're getting up in the master tier, ladies and gentlemen. This is how I know. We are going up against the 327th player in the world right now. I want this win. I want this win so bad. I really do. But we're going up against another Kyogre and the Alga team with a Trick Room Pokemon that is going to be Dusclops. Then he also has the Rillaboom, the Regilecki, alongside with the Grimstone for screens and support purposes. Okay. Um, who, who am I going into? Mimikyu is looking good, but I, I don't know. I, I, I'm going to need a Pokemon to get rid of that uh, that Rillaboom. I think Incineroar is going to be a solid lead here. We could go Mimikyu here as well. But I, again, I just don't think bringing Mimikyu is going to be the play considering... All of our opponents have Trick Rumons. We're going to force them to actually make the Trick Rumon call. So I'm fine with that. We're going to go there. We're going to go in with uh, Calyrex, but I don't think we're going to lead Calyrex. I think we might lead Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko could be solid. I'm trying to think who else could we go into here. Urshfu is not too shabby. Urshfu is not too shabby. Who do I want? I think we're going to go Incineroar, Urshfu, and then Kyogre Calyrex. Or do we not even bring Kyogre? Do we just say Kyogre get out of my face? Because, you know, Robim's a threat. We might have to do that. I'm kind of leaning more towards that. Saying Kyogre, you're not allowed to come. Yeah. Because every time I go up against a Robim team and I bring a Kyogre, I just get dumped on and I don't even get a turn out of my Kyogre. So, yeah, Kyogre, you're done. And he also has Regilecki. Yeah, dude, get out of my face. We're not, we're not dealing with him. We're not dealing with him. We're going we're gonna to let our opponent think that we're bringing Kyogre so we can bring Pokemon that we can kind of get after. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. I really want this win. Usually, uh, third and final battles when I'm 2-0, I don't really care about. But since this guy's high up in that tier, I want to I wanna, I wanna get rolling with this one. I want to get rolling. Okay, so he's going to go with these two. I'm obviously going to fake out the Grimstone. Or I can double down into the old Dust Cops. But I kind of want Dust Cops to set the Trick Room. I really want that. I don't care if he burns my... Uh, uh, dudes, uh, I'm still just gonna fake out here. I'll save my eject button. Could double down and allow him not to get off Trick Room, but if he gets off Trick Room, it's not a big deal for me. It really isn't. It's not a big deal at all. His fake out comes out. Wow, his fake out comes out first. That's disappointing. That's very disappointing. That's very disappointing. So he does get off Trick Room. Okay, so Trick Room's ready to roll. He could drop his big old Spear Break. Uh. Hmm. What do I do? 
Rear brakes definitely scare me. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I'm 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 well scared here. A throw chop could come out here. Throw chop's not bad. Wait, but I might just party shot and say see you later. Over on to you and just sucker punch here. No wait, dust cops might not even go for attack shot. Actually, let's attack here. Let's attack and let's party shot out. I'm with it all day. Because again, I can definitely see a uh a what's called poking out here. Oh nightshade flies. So was he doubling down? I can definitely see a spirit break flying here. Let's see. You going for a spirit break? I hope he doubles down. I'm bringing out Calyrex. I'm bringing out Calyrex all day. Calyrex coming out here. Yeah, yeah. Get my boy out here. Get my boy Calyrex out here. So Calyrex is going to poke here. Uh, we're going to Dynamax and get one, I think. I think it's just our best bet, right? Got to be our best bet. Let's see what he's going for. Double down into my Irish with that spirit break. Double down in with that spirit break, right? Come on, yo. That'd be a beautiful attack. Be a beautiful spirit break comes through. Beautiful place by Jeans here. Beautiful, beautiful place by Jeans. Okay, uh, from here, we got Dynamax, right? Dynamax into Hailstorm. Who could he swap out? I think I think he definitely goes here. And then I'm kind of with, uh, do I Sucker Punch or a Wicked Blow? What's my play? I kind of want to Sucker Punch in that slot, but I, I think we're fine. I think just going for a Wicked Blow is going to be your play. And then we can hard swap into maybe Incineroar next turn. I'm fine with this. We're going to Dynamax. We get in rolling here. As long as he doesn't swap out the Grim Snarl, I think we should be fine. I think we definitely should be fine. But I think this Hailstorm should be able to take him out. Give us plus one on the board. And then Wicked Blow can fly through here. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. As long as this Dust Cop's not rocking will o -Wisp, he could be looking pretty good. He could go for ally switch too. There's a lot of different options that we didn't weigh in. Let's see what he's going for. Phew! Phew! <laughs> we missed the will o -Wisp. He missed it. We love that. Take this thing out. Get him out of here. Yes, sir. Run it. Run it up. No will o -Wisp for him. <laughs> Phew! Oh my god, yo, wipe the sweat off her forehead, man. Oh my lord. Ah, dang. I think will o -Wisp. We could protect now. What's my play? What is my play? Wicked Blow is flying. How much damage are we really going to do with this Wicked Blow? Get after it. Be old. Good chunk. That's a good chunk. The good old chunk there. Um, I'm trying to think because I really do not want to get burned. Uh, I think we might have to protect and just finish off that thing. Who's going to bring out though? That's a real question. That's a real question. Who's he bringing out? Please don't be Calyrex. It's going to be Calyrex. It's going to be the Alga. Okay. Going to be the Alga. I'm tempted to guard. I cannot, I cannot allow this guy to get off a burn on my Calyrex. So we're gonna have to guard. We're gonna have to guard, and we're gonna have to stay hydrated. So what we're hoping here is, but I do not think it's gonna happen. We're hoping that he's going after the uh, Calyrex. Because if he goes for the burn on the Calyrex and it gets blocked. Cool, cool beans. We love it. But then say he goes into the move with the Alga and takes out my Urshfu. Then it's just like a waste of a turn. So we're going to put up the guard. We're going to see how this one plays. Well, Lewis flies again. There's a block. The Alga, please double down into Calyrex. Please. No. Eat this up, Urshi. Urshi, eat it up. That's exactly what I didn't want happening. That's tough news. He gets a big old defense boost. Oh, he's going to burn me. He's going to burn me. He's going to burn me. This sucks, dude. This sucks. Okay, who do we bring out? Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. I think we save her in Sonora. Oh, no, that thing's fucking quick. Hmm. Still going to swap into this. I'm with this whole day. He's gonna burn me. That's fine. I'm gonna go for nature's madness. I am gonna go for nature's madness. Oh my lord. Tough little battle here. We're gonna hope he misses this burn. We have to rely on him missing this burn and this quake just to take this thing out. So we're gonna go quake. And we're gonna go nature's madness here. Missed the burn. It was a matter of time, yo. Third time's a charm. <laughs> Third time charm. Hopefully we can take this thing out though. It'll be a big play for us. Just get that plus one. Kind of neglect some of the burn damage. Or the, uh, what's taken away from burn. And of course, it doesn't even take him out, man. It doesn't even take him out. It doesn't even take him out. So hopefully Buffets can do the work. But I really want that attack boost on my Calyrex. He's going to go for the Quake. Go in the Calyrex, please. That would be lovely. But he's going into Coco, right? Coco, eat it. 
Soul Fest, love you. Love you. Love you, love you, love you. It's a good play. We'll take that all day. We shall take that all day. Okay. I'm trying to think. Uh, how can this one actually come out here? Nature's Man is going to poke here. I thought that's, that's half health. Well, I didn't do... I think it has to be in the uh, fairy terrain. I really do not know too much about Nature's Madness. But I thought it takes the terrain out and, uh, and does half health. I guess it has to be fairy terrain. But still, that did a decent amount of damage. I ain't mad about it. We're going to get chipped up by burns. That goes back to normal. Uh, who's he going to bring out? I don't like this one bit. I do not like this one bit. Let's see what he rolls out into. It's going to be Kyogre. He's... We're going to read the protect on that thing. We're 100% going to read the protect on that. And we're going to go for the Thunderbolt. Or we might Volt Switch out. Nah, Volt Switch is definitely not the play. He's going to go Steel Spike all day. So we're going to allow him the Procker Policy. We're going to allow him the Procker Policy. And we are just going to go for a... Uh, we're going to look for a Paralyzed maybe into this thing. Probably our best bet, right? Because again, I do think Calyrex protects. Or not Calyrex, Kyogre, right? He does not protect. God dang it, dude. <laughs> I hate this game. Oh my lord, I hate this game so much. Give me Paralyze, though, at least. No, we're dead. That's GG's. He's proccing policy, though. We do have fake out turn ready to roll, so good policy proc here. And this one's going to be real close. If we went to a Thunderbolt there, that could have been huge. But Coco's going to go down here all day. He's going to get that defense boost. Policy's poking. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Orgy Pulse Fly Sir. Yo, Coco dodge it. Coco dodge it. Coco dodge it. Dang it, Coco. See, we tried to make the hard read onto the predict, but our opponent actually played that one really good. Played that one really, really well. Coco's gonna go down here. We still have Incineroar in the back. And Incineroar could be solid because we can start parting shotting. But at the same time, it's like, what do we do? Like parting shots really we're, we're not switching out. We have to fake out onto the Kyogre, right? Do we double down the Kyogre? I can't double down the Kyogre. I can't. I just can't. If he protects, he protects. I don't know what we're going to do. Super tough play here. Do we have to double down to Kyogre? I wonder. They could go for a high horsepower over into this thing. Glacial Lance isn't too bad either. High horsepower would, would do a little bit more damage. So yeah, you know, we're going to go high horsepower and we're just going to... But predict to protect now. I think I have to. Nah, you know, we, we got to fake this thing out. I'm not dealing with it. Okay, cool. Good, good thing I switched it last second. I was going to predict to protect. Flash cannon's coming through here. Should be able to eat that up, Cali. All day, Cali. All day, baby. How much damage are you going to do with this? How much damage are you going to do? High horsepower. Wolf through here. Built. That's gonna, not going to be enough. Not going to be enough. It's going to be GG's. Wow, dude. What a third battle. What a third battle. I'm actually glad we uh we gave our opponent a decent fight considering he's like 300th in the in the world right now. That's solid. That is solid. That is solid all day. But we're just going to go into this. We're going to go through a throw chop. It's going to be over with. That's GG's. He's just going to water pulse this out. Or origin pulse, whatever you want to call it. Water spout. Whichever move he's going for. Flash cannon flies. Later, Calyrex. Rest easy, buddy. Good old salute to him. He did work today. He did a lot of work. And then last shot's going to come through here. That's going to be the nice little, uh, oh, we go beforehand, which we're not going to be able to take that out, right? Yeah, he's bulked up. Dude's bulked up all day. Water spot's going to fly. There it is. Battle finally ends, yo. What a great set of battles, though. Two and one for today's video. We grabbed ourselves a winning record. More importantly, got to showcase this team to its fullest potential. Ice Rider Calyrex has been the Pokemon I have used the least in Series 12. So I decided to rock out with it today, and we did really good with it. 2 and 1 for today's video. It got to show off the team really, really well. The only Pokemon that we didn't use was Mimikyu, but like we didn't really have a chance to bring a Mimikyu in any of the battles. Every single battle we went up against, they were rocking Trick or Pokemon, so I just allowed my opponent to do Trick Room on its own. But Mimikyu's there to pair up with the Calyrex. Whenever they do not have a Trick Room team, you bring that Pokemon in, you set the Trick Room yourself, and you get rolling with the squad. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.